yourself up. So when you're ready, just make sure you can all see me. Just let me know if it's blurry at all for you. Otherwise, it might just be my camera. Okay, so when you're ready, just lift the knee. Gently lift. Take it nice and slow to begin with. Just get that heart rate up slowly. And when you're ready, just gently rotate the upper body. Hope we're all awake and lively this morning. <laughs> Good. That's it. Lift that chest. Rotate the body. Three two, one, good, just curl it behind, start with walking, flick those legs, good, three, two, one, from here, take those legs wide, take it down side to side, good, up and down, just keep it moving gently, Good. Four, three, two, one. Now take those legs nice and wide, bring them all the way down, arms out. And what I want you to do is keep rotating. Try and keep a straight line between your arms. Rotate. Four, three, two, one. One, good. Gently shake it off side to side, roll those shoulders. And change direction. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Keep yourself moving if you can while I talk you through. Just give me a thumbs up. Let me know you can see me okay. All see me okay? Perfect. Okay, so your first round of exercises. Number one is a close lunge, but with a little variation. So you don't put any pressure on that back leg all through your front as normal. But this time, as you come up, you then lift that front leg. So you're pressing down, powering through, pressing down, powering through that front leg. Number two, inchworm all the way down. Hold it here, tap, tap. And then inchworm all the way back up, okay? Number three, plank arm reach. Knees or toes, it's up to you. From here, tuck the tailbone. Reach the arm out and back in. All three back to back 45 seconds for the first round. So let's set that timer. We go in 10 seconds. Okay, when you're ready, six seconds. Starting with that front close leg lunge. Three, two, one. So you drop back through your front heel, lift, drop that down, all through that heel. And then as you come up, you're balancing on that back toe. Pull, power, control. So it should push through your quad when you're lifting. And when you're pushing, you're pushing through your heel and your hamstrings. Push, push, good. Onto that back toe, balance. So you end up on one leg on your toes. Lift that heel off the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Get ready for your inchworm. Shake off those legs. In eight seconds, walk it down. Tap, tap, back in. Three, two, one. Let's go down. Tap it out. Tap it out. Walk it back in. Good. If you need to bend those legs, come down for a squat first, depending on your flexibility. My hamstring flexibility is not that great. Good control, bring it up, let's go. Take your time. This one doesn't need to be rushed. Five, four. And relax it there. Shake it off, get ready for your plank. Bring yourself down. You can start on knees first, or you can go straight to toes. In five. If you do, tuck that tailbone, brace the abs. Let's go. Tap, tap. Do not rock those hips. Keep them still. Reach out. Five. 
Good control, tuck that tailbone, keep bracing the abs, elbows under shoulders. Good, push through, 10 more. Come on. Five. And relax it there, walk it back. Bring yourself up to standing. Are we warming up? We've got round two coming up. Same again, 45 seconds on. And then straight into each exercise. So remember which leg you started with. Quick drink, because you're going for the other leg for those lunges. Okay, eight seconds, we go again. Get ready for those lunges, remember which leg you started on. Three, two, one, same again. All through the front heel, and then as you lift, you push onto a calf raise and lift the front leg. Down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Good, remember keep that chest up shoulders back and you're pushing through your front heel and then your back toe. Let's keep it going. Yes, balance. Remember up onto that toe. You wanna be up right onto your toe when you lift that front leg. Five. And hold it there, shake off those legs. Feel those legs. Get ready for your walkout. In three, two, one, walk. Tap it out. And back in. Let's go, same again. Two taps, back in, up. Good, come on. Push. Eight left, come on. Let's get one more. And shake it off. Shake off that body, shake off those legs. Get yourself ready for those plank taps. Bring yourself down. Knees or toes. Tuck the tailbone. Three, two, one. Tap it out. Take your time. Try not to rock the body. And if you feel your shoulders coming back, bring them back over your elbows. Come on. Woo. Push. 10, come on, power through. Three, two, one. Shake it off, bring it up. Round one of exercises complete for those three. So shake it off, keep yourself moving. Next round of exercises. First one is two star jumps straight down into two press ups, either normal press ups or come down, touch back up. Two star jumps, two press ups. Make sure if you get dizzy at all coming up and down, take your time. Number two, you've got hip thrust, but your option is to jump out and then jump back down. So as you hip thrust up, you jump out, jump in. Okay. Number three, inside heel taps. Okay, so get yourself ready. 10 seconds. Quick drink. So starting with those two star jumps, two press ups. Three, two, one, let's go. Two star jumps, two press ups. Either normal or press up release, where you bring your chest down to the floor and touch those temples. Or if you need to, I'll show you your third option. Down onto your knees, 
Press up. Let's go. Or you can use all three. You can mix between those three. Come on. Eight seconds. Hold it there, shake it off. Get yourself ready down to the floor for those hip thrust jumps. Okay, bring yourself down. Remember, as you lift your hips, your legs jump out. As you bring your hips down, they jump in. Three, two, one, lift, jump, jump in. As you do this, brace your core, push down, control, down, jump out, hips up, down, hips in. This is too much. Just do your normal hip thrust. If not, jump it out. Keep those hips up as you jump. Come on, jump and down. Five, four, and relax it there. Bring it up, shake it off. Get ready for those inside heel taps. Nice and light on those feet, don't make it heavy. And if it's too much, just come here, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. In, if it's too much to jump, come here. Use the option that works for you. Whew. Come on. Make sure as well, you're not lowering the body. Chest stays up, your legs lift up. Whew. Come on. 10 left. And hold it there, shake it off. Shake off those legs. Walk it around. Have a breather. 15 seconds and we've got round two. Now you know the exercises. Okay, nearly there. In three, two. Get ready for those star jumps. Let's go. Two star jumps, two press ups. If you didn't last time, give the full press ups a go. If not, come down, touch your temple, back up. Or use the knees. Body feeling heavy, come on. Three, two, one. Hold it there, shake it off. Bring it down. Hip thrust jump. And remember your option if you need it. It's just a hip thrust. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Lift, jump and hold. Jump back in, lower down. So keep those hips high as you jump. Squeeze your glutes, push your knees wide. Brace your core. Come on. Power, push through. Use your hands down the side if you need to, just to stop you from rotating. Five. And relax it there. Bring it up. Get ready for those heel taps. Inside leg, 
in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Remember your option is here. If not, let's go. Come on. Whew. Push, push, push. Come on. Remember, lift those legs. Don't lower that body down. Keep your back nice and straight. Ten left. Come on. And don't miss that heel like I did. <laughs> Three, two, one. Shake it off. Shake off those legs. How are we feeling? All good? Okay. Third round of exercises. So walk it off. Let me go through it. You've got option number one is side lunge, squat, side lunge, squat. Option number two is deadlift, squat, and then switch. Whatever feels better for you, lunge or deadlift. Number two, hips right up in the air, hike, press up, into, down, up. Same again, hike, press up, okay? Number three, you're here on your bum, crunch to the side, and then we roll on our back. So I'll go through these all the way through. Crunch, roll, sit up, back. So take your time. Okay, side crunch, and then flat sit up. So get yourself ready, 10 seconds, quick breather. We start with either side lunge or deadlift, straight into squat. In three, in two, in one. Let's go. So use whichever option, either side squat and then alternate or deadlift down, squat, switch. With your deadlift, so obviously your legs are going to be tired. You can see I'm off balance. Take your time. Control, then power squat. Control, power squat. If not, Stay with that side lunge, then squat. Whichever works for you. Or you've got two rounds, so use one of each. Woo. And to use your quads, feet facing forward, to use your glutes, knees out, toes out. Up to you. Three, two, one, bring yourself down for that pike press up into elbow plank. Okay, eight seconds. Get ready. Three, two, one, hips right up. Let's go. Press up, then drop the hips down, down, up, up, back. Same again. Press up, down. Now, with this, you're aiming for a shoulder press up. So, downward dog, tuck the head then press and it's slow come on nearly there 10 seconds and hold it there bring it down Whew. Those shoulders, eh? So one side for this one. We'll only swap sides on our next round. So remember, on your side, on your butt, feet off the floor, you crunch and then roll back, sit up. When you're ready, bring yourself in, let's go. Crunch, both legs off, sit up. Roll, crunch, knees off, feet off, crunch up. Same again. Roll, side crunch, full sit up. Come on. Woo. Lock more coordination. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it off, shake it off. Now we've got the same again but we're just switching sides. So 20 second rest, 
And then we've got round two of those exercises. So shake it off. All feeling good? A bit more to think about with all the coordination today. So if you tried the singles, if you tried the lunge last time, try the stiff leg deadlift. Take your time. In five, four, three, two, one. Now remember you've got your side lunge, then squat or take your time with your deadlift. You need to throw your body down and the leg comes up. Bend your leg down, touch the floor, squat, switch legs, take your time. Quick squat, slow deadlift. And your leg, if your leg is here, you're not gonna reach the floor. So control, throw the leg up, it's like a seesaw. And then lower the head. If your head is still looking up, it's gonna be even harder. Ooh, feel it in those glutes, control. Three, two, one. Woo. Get ready for those pike press ups. 10 seconds, bring yourself down. Remember, take your time with this. It's not a race on this one. Three, two, one, hips up in the air, tuck the head down, up, drop the hips and then down. Do not rotate those hips, keep them up, back. And with this, if your hands aren't under your shoulders, you're gonna feel like you're stretching too far back on that pike press up. So make sure they're under your shoulders. Then you go again. And your option is to drop it down to the knees for that plank and then come back up. And same again. Five, come on. And hold it there. Ooh, how are we feeling? Are we ready to switch sides for those obliques? So remember which side you started with. Swap it over, remember, side crunch, rotate, full sit up. Okay, in five, four, three, both legs off. Let's go, push through your hand and then rotate, full sit up. Let's go. And remember with your side, push through your hand, not your elbow, and then your legs lift. Full sit up, take your time, rotate. Three, two, one, hold. Bring yourself up, walk it off. Woo, how are we feeling? All okay? Good, shake it off. Okay, you've got one more round. So we're starting, coming onto the floor. From here, lean yourself back slightly, but with this, the aim is to balance, okay? So make sure your chest is up, shoulders back, legs are off. You're rotating here. Nothing touches the floor other than your bum. So make sure your chest is out, shoulders are back. If you really, really need it, you can keep one foot down just to rotate, use the option, okay? As soon as we've done that, you're coming over. From here, lift, bear crawl hold, you're pulsing the legs out, okay? So your hips stay still, but you're using here, and then we come straight up into toe flicks, okay? So 15 seconds, and then we go. Okay, so get ready for your V-sit crunch. In five, bring yourself down. Three, two, one. Remember balance, lift, let's go. It's slow and controlled. Lift your chest, shoulders back. Just tap those hands. Remember if it's too much, 
use that leg down. So if you're getting a lot of pressure in your lower back and you can't feel it in your abs, drop one leg and just use minimal moment where there's no feet on the floor. Or if you can, lift, brace your core, shoulders back. Do not do this and arch your back. Lift your chest. Five, three, two, one. Hold it there, rotate over. Get yourself ready for that bear crawl hold. Pulse those legs in. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift, knees just two inches off the floor. Pulse those knees out. Do not lift those hips any higher than your shoulders. Brace your core and your hands should be directly in line with your shoulders, not above. Let's go. Knees roughly in line with your hips. Pulse, come on, small movement. Feel it in the outside of your legs and your quads and your core. Oh, and don't forget your shoulders. Keep pushing. 10 seconds. Come on, you've got it. Three, two, one, drop it down. Feel those legs. Woo. Now we're going to shake them off with those toe flicks. Get yourself ready. In five, four, three, two, hands behind. Now make sure you're aiming to hit your hands. Proper flick, not here. Okay, you want to make sure you're really stretching out those quads. Come on. Flick, flick. Keep moving. Go keep flicking, aim to hit those hands. Don't lean forward, chest up. Woo, come on. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on. Three, two, one. Shake it off. Take off those arms. Woo. Now we've got that exact same round, but for 30 seconds. So quicker, more energy. Let's get more reps. Okay, reset that timer. Quick breather, quick hydration. Last round and then we cool down. Okay, eight seconds. Bring yourself down. Last V-sit. Remember, chest up, shoulders back. If you're fatiguing and you're getting tired, just drop one leg. Rather that three, two, one, lift, lift. Or if your legs are too heavy and you're feeling it, drop one leg and just slow it down. Lift the chest. Woo. That's all about balance. Good, shoulders back. Head looking up and forward. Find a position and concentrate. Keep going, five, four, three. Good, hold it there, rotate it over. Get yourself ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift, 30 seconds. Let's go, pulse it out. Hands under shoulders. Push your hands through the floor. Knees two inches off the floor, no higher. Your bum should not be in the air. Drop it down. You should be that close to the floor that you really want to put your knees down, but we're not going to. And breathe. Five. And relax. Feel those legs. Last toe flick, and then we can cool it down. Three, two, one. Straight in. 30 seconds. Come on. Maximum energy. Let's go. Flick, flick, flick. Aim for your hands. Let's hit them. Don't miss. Come on. Woo. Finish on a high. Get our heart rate up. 10. Come on, push through. Five, four. And shake it off. Woo. When you're ready. Don't come to a stop. Just gently cool down. Bring those legs behind. Woo. How are we feeling? 
Curl those legs. Good, gently curl. And then lift. Legs are feeling heavy now, yeah? Feel those hips, we're gonna stretch them out. Lift, lift. Good, when you're ready, one leg back, back leg straight, front leg bent, toes facing forwards, not to the side. And what you're gonna do, lean into the front leg, shoulders back, push your hips, you should feel it stretching here. And then hips slightly back. Good, switch sides, same again. Both feet facing forward, push into the front leg, lean slightly and then push your hips forward. Okay, let's stretch out those quads. If I can feel them burn a little bit from those bare crawls. Remember, knees together, hips push forward, brace your core. And switch over, same again. Knees together, hips forward, brace your core. Good, from here, take your neck side to side, stretch it out from all those planks. And aim to drop your shoulders and really stretch your neck, feel it pull in. And forwards and up. Good, last one, stretch out those shoulders. Quite a few on those press ups and planks today. And last time, stop it over. Good, shake it off, well done. Thank you, have an amazing day. Hope it started you nice and sweaty, but all awake. And I will see you all later, see you next Monday.